All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 49. All right. So to see our new HTML content for the target input container, we will need to use the inner HTML property, okay? Uh, the inner HTML property sets or returns the HTML content inside an element. And here's an example of how to use it. Well, before, before we get to that, let's go check it out on MDM, right? So we'll type uh, inner HTML in the Google bar. Uh, first thing that comes up as usual. Uh, and then it says the element property inner HTML gets, it gets, or sets the HTML or XML markup contained within the element. Okay, so that's what it's basically doing. It's either getting or setting it. And in our case, uh, we're gonna be setting something, all right? Uh, and then there's some more stuff. Uh, we'll, maybe later we'll read more about it, but let's look at the ex example from uh, right here. So we've got the div ID container, and then we've got a paragraph inside of this div, okay? And then we've got this const container equals document dot get element by ID container. So it's getting this element by ID. And then uh, we're gonna do, and that's in this uh, container equals this stuff. So container, which is this stuff, which is this, uh, dot inner HTML plus equals, and then we've got some uh, regular, not regular, uh, some uh, a template literal right here. It adds a new content. It adds this new content on a new line when we do the plus equals right here. Hopefully that makes sense, all right? So it's doing a new line after, I think after this, because it's inside of here. So it's doing a new line after this and doing another P tag with adding new content. Hopefully that makes sense, all right? So let's come down here. Uh, so now we're gonna add our new HTML string to the target input container by using the inner HTML property. And we're going to remember to use the plus equals operator to add to the existing HTML instead of replacing it. So if this was just straight up equals, and I mean, if this was just straight up equals, no plus sign, it would just replace this and it would make some white space in there because uh, it's on a new line. But yeah, so that's what's going on here. So what we're going to do here is what this thing says. We're going to add this to this by using this, all right? So let's come down here and we're gonna do the target input container. We'll copy that. We'll come down here and say uh, target input container. Let's tab it over one. Target input container dot inner HTML dot inner HTML. All right, and now we're gonna do the plus equals. Woo, woo, woo. Plus equals like that. And we're going to do this HTML string. So you see it's going on a new line and it's adding all this stuff to the target input container, which is the entry drop down value, the hashtag entry drop down value, which in this case it's breakfast. Uh, yeah, so it's adding it to this. Where are we? Breakfast. It's adding it to this right here. So it'll it'll do a new line. I'm pretty sure that's it. Wait, 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 uh, entry drop down dot value dot input container. Okay. So it's adding it to this. So here's the, where are we? Here's the breakfast. And then the dot input container means this, this class It's the input container class. So it's going to add it after, after this right here. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Uh, so let's do that. Let's uh, get rid of the index.html. Let's do that uh, plus equals HTML string. So let's just copy this, drop it off here, throw a semicolon on the end, and let's do a function call, right? So let's come down here and do add entry like this function call. Ah, come on. Does, was that wrong? Let's see, dot inner HTML. Did that not work? It looks like this, doesn't it? Container dot H, inner HTML. Uh, okay, so yeah, something was wrong. Inner, oh, it's not a capital I, that's what. Inner HTML, okay, so look here. Okay, so when we dropped it down to a lowercase, we've got this right here. So it, like, like I said, 
we added all this stuff. Oops, oops, oops. We added all this stuff that's in here to this. Where are we? To this right here, right after this, right after the legend breakfast and right after the uh, class input container. So it's right here. That's where that is. Okay. Okay. So that makes sense now. Uh, all right. So let's get rid of this add entry. It should work now. Let's uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 50. And we'll see you next time.